Do you want to learn how to use the secrets of the stars, the cards, and the numbers to trade crypto like a pro? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the principles of GAN theory, a powerful method of financial astrology that can help you predict market movements and find profitable opportunities. I'm going to show you how to use tarot cards, a form of div divination that can reveal hidden insights and guidance for your trading decisions. By combining these two tools, you'll be able to tap into cosmic forces that influence the crypto market and gain an edge over other traders. So stay tuned and get ready to discover the secret of GAN theory, astrology, tarot cards, and crypto trading. I'm your host, Bill Noble. If you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live and you are going to hit the like button for me and Toby today. We are going to answer one big question. Should you buy Bitcoin today? Or will it be sell in May and go away and come back in July? That's the big question. And what we're going to do is use the tarot cards to focus on the timing. So the astro read, the solar eclipse, that's good for Bitcoin. Okay, that's the big roadmap. Now we're doing timing with Toby. Toby, let's go. Give us the cards and I'll explain along the way how we're doing it and what we're doing it. And Toby will jump in as well. Go. Okay. Well, first I want you to ask the specific question that you want to know about, about Bitcoin rather than doing a general reading. So what very specific question do you have about Bitcoin and what it will be doing in the relatively new, recent future? Coming Should you buy Bitcoin now? Today. Should you FOMO in today, right now? Very cool. All right. So the first card that we're drawing is the judgment card. Let me pull it up here so you can see. So this card is going to represent the energy of um, Bitcoin in this moment. So judgment cards are one of the karma cards in the minor Ar arcana, I mean, the major arcana. And so this card is about paying the piper. Um, if things have been going really, really good, and but you haven't been paying attention to um, doing things, let's say, not, not correct, but if there's something slipshod, you might have to pay the price here, right? So... If you haven't been paying attention up until this moment, you should have been focusing on keeping your ducks in a row. So perhaps it could be traders who haven't been using good risk management might want to start using good risk management if they jump in now. I, I would think that would, I think that's a really, really good thing because this is, it's not really a card about balance, but it, it, it's a card about paying your dues. So if you've been paying your dues, I would say that you will be rewarded for this. So let's see the energy that's influencing that moment. Oh, we have the fool. The fool is the giant risk taker. So uh, the, the, the energy of what's going on in this moment is maybe a more conservative approach, which is being influenced by the fool. The, the fool says, close your eyes and take a leap of faith. So if you're following the energy that, that you're feeling in this moment, and we are reading this off of your energy and, and your feelings about uh, what's going on in the market right now, the cards would be saying, yes, this is a time to take a risk. This is a time to jump out of your comfort zone. And as long as you have been maintaining good practices, then things will go well for you. All right. So if you're thinking about FOMOing in and trying to catch the rally to 34K, okay, the release of tarot cards has been authorized. Just remember the judgment card about risk management. So more to come on the upside in Bitcoin, but we've got two more cards left. Yeah. Toby. Okay. So, oh, interesting. So th this card is the energy 
that we're just coming out of. There's the sun. This could be related to the solar eclipse. As you're saying, this is a very positive um, energy. There's a lot of uh, vitality. Um, this card is associated with youthful vitality and an unlimited supply of energy. So this is where we're coming out. Now, the most important card is where are we going, right? Oh, great. Expansion card. This is a really, really good card. Again, it speaks to, we have two wands, which really line up well with what we were talking about earlier in the judgment card. The two wands are the beginning of the, the, the stability of a movement, right? It's not four, a square is, is a super stable energy, but two is enough to go, ah, oh, I can venture from this point. And if you look at the guy in the card, he's, he's looking, he has a globe in his hand and he's ready to take over the world. So this is an excellent card of expansion. I would say whatever you've been doing, you should continue with that more. So the, the fool card is not try new things. All of these cards are not saying don't go, you know, buy something that you've never bought before, maybe. But continue the growth pattern that you've been doing. Continue that risk matter. Ma uh, management that you've been doing, but take a little bit of extra risk. Feel free to jump in because everything will be fine. We're we're going into a phase of expansion. Okay, so check that out, ladies and gentlemen. This comes from a shuffled deck of cards. So we've got the solar eclipse coming out of a shuffled deck of cards. We've got good risk management. We've got a risk taking card, and we've got something where. You know, we're taking over the world yes. with two pillars. So that means Bitcoin and crypto, but it may not necessarily recommend S coins, right? Because she said, stay with what you've been doing. Stay with what's working. I'm your host, Bill Noble with special, special guest, Toby Bitcoin. We'll see you next time.